Hello there. Thank you for joining me today on this video. I will be demonstrating the way I came up with making my snake pattern scale brush um, by using Procreate. So what I did first, I, I went and got a square canvas from the gallery. And the next thing I did is I went ahead and went into the little wrench and went into the canvas tab. I went and made sure that the drawing guide is on and I went and selected the symmetry tab and just make sure that your options, um, you know, you have your assisted drawing on and also, you know, make it nice and visible there. As you can see, it's the red line. I'm just gonna double check my symmetry is on. I'm gonna hit done. And usually what I like to do is I'll flip it around. As you can see, I have my old scale pattern there that I use. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select my technical pen. And on my technical pen, I'm going to go ahead and start drawing the scale from the bottom. So I'll do there. I'll do another one. A bit smaller or thinner, I should say just because I'm taking in consideration the way the body is probably going to turn. And one like that. We're going to start with the top, coming to the, to the other scale, and then the other scale, and then the other scale. And then we're going to finish it off straight line there so as you can see that's the pattern that I'll be working on obviously I'm doing it just as a tutorial you could do it a little bit nicer than mine um, you know always taking into consideration the nice shape portions there's always different types of scales that you can come up with um, so these are just the standard ones that I'm creating um, next thing we're gonna do is um, you know make sure our scale pattern is vertical. I'm going to go head over and hit my wrench again. And then I'm going to go into the Add tab. I'm going to hit Copy Canvas. So what I'm going to do now is once I copied um, whatever's on the canvas, I'm going to head over and click my brush. I'm going to duplicate my technical pen. And by swiping left, as you can see there, you'll see Duplicate. And it creates a second one. Once I click on my brush that I duplicated, you'll see that the settings for the brush are found um, are found now, or are found um, in this section. As you can see on the left of it, you'll notice that we have some parameters that give life to the way the brush behaves. Because we're going to go ahead and select the shape, uh, the shape option there. Um, as you can see, it gives us what the actual brush tip looks like. I'm going to hit the edit option at the top. And then I'm going to hit import. And then on the import, you'll see that it says paste. So I'm going to paste and it's, bring, it's going to bring over what we had in the canvas that we were drawing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on the image and it turns it to black background. I'm going to hit done and I'm going to go over to this little pencil here and it's going to cl hit clear drawing pad and it clears this little testing um, canvas that we have for the brush. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to just see what the brush is doing right now at the moment. It is not doing much. So what we're going to do is we're going to mess around with the settings in order to give it that look we're waiting, uh, we're looking for. The first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into the stroke path and we're going to mess around with the spacing here. And as you can see, it's starting to change here into where we can see the scales. I'm also going to go down to the properties actually, and I'm looking at the maximum brush size behavior is set a little bit low. So I'm going to crank this boy up just a little bit here. 
so we can see the scales a little bit more in detail. I'm um, going to switch back to the stroke path and I'm going to mess around with the spacing of these and see where it actually fits a little nicer there. Uh, make sure to streamline it. It's just about 48%. I'm going to go into the shape part again and I'm going to click on the rotation. Make sure that rotation goes along with my flow. Now you can start to see that there's more of the scale pattern there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my stroke path and just bring down that spacing just enough where it creates that path. Okay, I think it writes about good. How's my streamline? There we go, all the way up there. All right. All right, well. Let's clear this drawing pad and let's see how our brush is doing now. Let's look at the taper of it too. Um, I'm also going to make this one end at a fatter place. This guy should be a little bit thinner as it's the tail of the snake. Yeah, let's give it a go here. So we're back in our canvas. Um, let's go ahead and turn off on the canvas tab our drawing guide um, actually make sure you go into it assisted drawings off drawing guide is off let's clear the canvas we're three finger as you can see now you have a snake nice snake brush let's make it a little bit bigger there and you can see that the scales are there. Obviously, you can make the adjustments on the settings of the brush here um, to where you like it most and where it flows a little bit easier. Yeah, I just wanted to, you know, give you some pointers on how to make some scales, you know, for your, for your snake there. But yeah, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this quick little tutorial. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and uh, I might do a couple more um, as I venture into the brush creating part of Procreate. I used to do this on Clip Studio Paint, a little bit more easier, but uh, I always love jumping into new programs and checking them out. So I appreciate you guys um, watching it through and hope you guys learned something. Any questions, shoot me uh, on the comments. I'm just still learning. Um, but. Look forward to learning together. Have a good day, guys.